super important detail to keep in mind. To load a scene in Unity, you need to add it in the Build Settings window. With this instruction, you will be able to restart the scene in which you currently are. That means this script can be reused throughout all your scenes. In this example, I'll show you how to restart the scene if you press the spacebar, if you press a button from a canvas, and also how to call the restart function from a different script when some generic condition is met. All these examples will use the same script to restart the scene. Please consider subscribing and let's start solving this problem. Here I have two different scenes that I previously added to the build settings window, just the name of the scene and a sphere that will fall when we hit play. First of all, let's create the script that will restart the scene and an empty game object to assign it, otherwise the script won't be executed, no matter how hard we try. Inside the script, we will add the Unity Engine management namespace and define a public function. You can call it, for example, restart scene. And inside the function, add this instruction that restarts the current scene. Now, let's implement the first method, restart the scene when pressing the spacebar. Inside the update function, we'll read the spacebar and when that happens, simply call the restart function. That's it. Go to Unity, hit play and press the spacebar. So this is pretty much working. Now let's implement the second method. Restart the scene when pressing the canvas button. Let's create a new canvas and inside a new button. Make sure that the event system object is there. And then to make this button call the public function we defined, simply go to the onclick event add a new element, drag the game object with the script that restarts, and choose the function. Now, if we hit play, we can restart the scene either by pressing the spacebar or using this button. Let's implement the third method, call the restart function from another script. For this method, I'll try to provide a generic example, and then you'll have to use your imagination to adapt this example to your needs. Let's create a new script and an empty game object to assign it. Inside the script, I'll quickly define a countdown timer. We could add a float variable to set the time in the inspector. Inside update, I'll decrement that variable with time.delta time. So every second, we are decrementing this variable by one. And when the variable is less or equal to zero, we will restart the scene. Now, how can we do that? We need to define a reference for the script that contains the restart function. In this case, my script is called gdt underscore restart scene. So here, I will need to define a variable of that type. Let's call it restart script. Now we need to initialize that variable. Otherwise, if we try to call the restart function as is, we'll get a null reference exception. So to initialize the variable, we basically have two options. Assign the game object with the script in the inspector or find the reference through code. In this case, let's just assign the proper game object in this variable in the inspector. To call the restart function from this script, we use our variable and with the dot operator, we simply call the function. For this to be possible, the function must be public. Now, if you run this, after a few seconds, the scene restarts. That means we are calling the restart function from a different script when some condition is met. Now it's up to you to define what those conditions could be. To finish this video, I will copy the object with the restart script paste it in the other scene and hit play to see that it's working. When I press the spacebar, the scene restarts. If we also copy the object with the script that calls the restart function and we run this, after a couple seconds, the scene restarts, meaning that it's working. I will probably take this example and create a Unity package for you to download, so don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned. See you in the next video.